Hey there guys. In the last video, I took you on a little adventure of the Arizona Trail with my buddy Tristan from the SUV RVing channel. And at the beginning of that video, I mentioned that I had made him a travel cabinet for his Toyota RAV4. That's his adventure mobile that he travels all across the US going to national parks and various wild places in. He lives in it for days and sometimes weeks at a time. And this is a little cabinet that provides a various storage space for some of his travel needs. So that's obviously what the video is going to be about. I'm going to build this cabinet or show you how I built the cabinet for him. But I think it might be useful for those of you who might have an RV, a travel trailer, a minivan, or some other type of vehicle you might want to do some extended travel in. So let's get to the build and then I'm going to have him give you a tour of it at the end. All right, guys, the beginning of this project is going to look very similar to many of the interior cabinet builds that I made for my travel trailer project. But I can assure you, if you watch long enough, you will see some differences. But just like those projects, I started out by ripping down some plywood into the general dimensions that I needed to make a basic box. In this case, I'm using half inch Baltic birch plywood. Once I had all of my pieces set out, I then drilled pocket holes in them and then affixed them together with wood glue and the pocket hole screws. Now one of the issues that some people have when assembling things with pocket hole screws is that the pieces will have a tendency to shift when you're driving the screw, resulting in the pieces not quite being lined up the way you wanted them to be. And the easy solution to that is to simply clamp the pieces together before you drive the screws. Uh, but you'll rarely see me doing that. What I like to do instead is just to allow the screw to protrude ever so slightly from the material that the pocket hole is in. And when you squeeze the pieces together, the little tips of the screws just barely bite into the other side of the material and it keeps everything lined up and so it doesn't slide when you start driving the screw all the way in. For the shelves of the cabinet, I'm using spacer blocks to make sure that everything is equally spaced based on the top of the cabinet because that is visually where it will be most noticeable. And you can see here that I've applied glue before I slide in this shelf so that the shelves will be glued as well as affixed with the pocket hole screws. And for the shelf dividers, in addition to the glue you see me wiping away here, I have also secured them with brad nails from the bottom, the back, as well as the top of the cabinet. And after all of that was dry, I then set out pre-drilling my hinge holes using this right angle tool. It's a little bit cumbersome, but it is sure useful for getting into tight spaces like this. And after a couple of coats of paint, I then trimmed everything out in aluminum, added all of my hardware, and it was pretty much ready to go.
Okay, so at this point the cabinet is pretty much complete. Now I'll give you a quick walk around and talk to you about some of the features of it that might not be as apparent as the main storage cubbies are. Starting with the bottom of the cabinet, you'll notice there's a small gap down there, and that is because this cabinet's gonna sit in the back of Tristan's SUV right next to where his sleeping pad is. So the gap will allow that bottom door to be accessed when the sleeping pad is in place. And it will also give him some tuck away storage underneath the cabinet for slippers or clothes or whatever else he wants to store in there. Moving on up to this side, you'll notice there's two U-bolts and those will serve as attachment points for a dirty clothes bag or a trash bag or whatever else he wants to add there. He actually makes quite a few vehicle travel accessories, so I'm sure he might come up with something creative to put there. And then this open space down there will be available in case he ever wants to put a flip out table uh, or something like that. Moving on over to this side, I also have U-bolts attached and these will be so that he can secure the cabinet to the back seat of his RAV4 uh, with some webbing or ratchet straps. And then I guess the only other thing is you may be wondering about the aluminum. Well that serves two purposes. One is just to protect the edges of the plywood and two is just because I think it looks pretty damn cool. Uh, he didn't ask for it but I asked him if it was okay if I added it because uh, I just love the look of it. And then the top of the cabinet can also serve as a table or whatever else he wants to use it for. All right, so you guys just saw me build the cabinet and give a quick walk around when it was sitting in front of the shop. Now you can tell I am definitely in a different location. This is the Superstition Mountains. Um, I'm actually on a couple little adventures with Tristan and you can see how beautiful this place is in the background. Um, I'm not sure if you'll see those videos before this or after, but anyway, now uh, Tristan's going to give you a little tour of the cabinet inside his uh, RAV4. Alright guys, so here is the cabinet in place. This is my, uh, my 2011 Toyota RAV4. I go on a lot of adventures in it. I go camping and hiking and climbing and all that good stuff. And so this is my little adventure mobile. Uh, on the left side here we have my sleeping area. Just got a little three inch foam mattress from Home Depot. And then uh, up on the, um, in the middle seats there I have my cooler. And I wanted um, a good storage solution for this back corner part. Um, earlier on this trip I was just using a duffel bag, just filling that with stuff. And uh, you know that worked, it was doable, but it wasn't nice. And I spend a lot of time on the road in here. I spend two or three months a year camped in this. And so I, I wanted to, just wanted it to feel a little bit nicer, you know. And so Joe built me this beauty and um, got the three drawers. Basically it's to hold my, my clothes. Got some, uh, some wet wipes here to take the sweat off my face and to, <laughs> <laughs> to uh, shower myself down when I don't really have water. And so this is basically for clothes and electronics and things like that. And um, I had Joe put the, the U-bolts on the front side here so that it could secure, so I could secure it around this middle seat that's still up. And so it's, it's pretty solid. Like we just drove a super bumpy road, really rocky, really, um, you know, all sorts of ruts and everything in it. And I mean, it's, it's rock solid in here. It's, it, there's no problem at all. In the back here, I have my dirty clothes hamper basically. One problem I always ran into on these trips was that I never really knew what to do with my dirty clothes and so I figured having a nice dedicated spot for that would really, uh, really help keep things neat and tidy in here. Well sweet. I hope it uh, goes thousands of miles with you before this. I hope it outlasts the RAV4. We'll just leave it <laughs> at that. I, I, think, I think this is, uh, you know, viewers I can attest to Joe's bomb proof building here you know we've seen him build all sorts of uh crazy things and overbuild a lot of things maybe oh, yeah. but uh you know this this will definitely be put to the test and i'm sure it'll last uh, a long time and i'll have it for a lot of good adventures all right guys that is pretty much going to do it for this video i hope you found it interesting or at the very least mildly entertaining i know i always say that but uh, some people just like to see things get built uh, but for those of you who maybe are embarking on some sort of van conversion or trailer conversion or you just simply want to add some cabinetry to an suv that you have so that you can go on some longer term adventures i hope maybe that it gave you some ideas um, as you can see from tristan's 
Simpsons adventures. He goes on lots of adventures just in his Toyota RAV4, and I hope this cabinet uh, accompanies him uh, for many years to come and just makes the organization process of living in a space like that uh, much easier. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this. And for those of you who have followed my own trailer build, definitely stay tuned in the next uh, maybe three or four weeks. Um, I am working on another cabinet that's gonna go, or that's going to finish out the interior of my travel trailer build. And uh, so there's gonna be more content uh, uh, in that direction coming. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time. It's your life.